spirituality is something profoundly different. It's, it's about godliness in all living things, not a hierarchical structure. The country is becoming less and less religious, if you look at the public opinion polls, and more and more spiritual. And I think that says something about our understanding of a circle and not a hierarchy. It, okay, I, can, can you bear it if I tell one other? Okay, I can. Okay, here's, here, I was reading uh, a book about church architecture. And he says, also this historian, you can now find this on the web, I believe, <clears throat> uh, as if everybody also knows it, that of course, religious structures are built to resemble the body of a woman. <laughs> 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 because they're, see, I rest my kids. Anyway, because their, their central ceremony is one in which men give birth. I mean, the power of giving birth is huge. So first you control it by controlling women's bodies, but then you take over the mythic power of giving birth, okay? So generally speaking, churches have an outer entrance and inner entrance, labia majora, labia minora, <laughs> a vaginal aisle down the center, <laughs> two curved ovarian structures on either side, and an altar in the middle, which is the womb, where the miracle takes place. Where men dressed in skirts <laughs> say you were born of an inferior creature, therefore you were born in sin. But if you obey the rules of the patriarchy, we can do women one better. We can give you everlasting life. And actually, a very worked out heaven came with patriarchy. Otherwise, you just joined your ancestors. You know, there wasn't this circles of hell and so on. Um, and so they sprinkle imitation birth fluid over your head and give you a new name and say you are reborn through male priests, through the patriarchy. I rest my case. <laughs>